The summer between first and second grades, she was having new wallpaper installed in the bedroom I slept in. Across the hall from hers on the second floor of the house in Connecticut. She was getting me ready to go to sleep. And when she came over to my bed, she found a tape measure. I didn't even know what it was. She had a piercing look on her face and stopped me in my tracks. It was really scary. She asked if I had taken it. She used that familiar voice I had become attuned to as she explained she had been looking for it all day. I stood in front of her, frozen. She asked why it was on my bed. I told her I didn't know that perhaps the workman had left it there. After a couple more demands for the answer she wanted, she slapped my face, knocking off my glasses. She told me I was lying. She directed me to tell my brothers and sisters that I had taken the tape measure. Through my crying and tears, I listened to her as she explained she would rehearse, we would rehearse what should have happened. She told me that she would walk into the room and I would tell her I was sorry for taking the tape measure, that I had taken it to play with and that I would never do it again. We practiced at least a half dozen times. It became late. I was afraid and had cried myself out. When she was satisfied, she took me to the rocking chair and rocked me. After a short while, she brought me downstairs and made hot chocolate for me before putting me to bed. And that was the start of her coaching, drilling, scripting and rehearsing. 